What's up guys, War here. Today I'm bringing you the best build in all of Season 26 and the best build to farm high Paragon levels. That's the Inna's Monk in Diablo 3. Let's do it. So the Inna's Monk build has been dominating guys for three seasons now with still season 26 the ptr for season 27 is out but i wanted to bring this to video guys for you again to if you want to push those higher paragon levels and just farm out as many as you can this is the build to definitely do that it's the inna's monk so let's break down how the build actually works so what you're going to be doing is dashing around from mob to mob elite to elite using dashing strike you want to get to those mobs and you want to pop your mystic ally to deal all of your damage this is a pet build so you want the mystic allies to be doing absolutely everything when you pop epiphany as soon as you get 10 mystic allies you pop epiphany so that way you can teleport from group to group the reason you want this is because you want to get to an elite pack so that way your engine that's in the cube pops so that, that way you can constantly get all your cooldowns for your abilities to keep using them over and over again when you get close to an elite pack or a mob you want to pop serenity for more defense and you want to use way of 100 fists in combination with cyclone strike to be able to proc your focus and restraint as well as your bindings of the lesser god for more damage this build is really really easy guys all you're going to be doing is dashing around you could literally do this with just three fingers you don't need a whole lot to do in the game you just dash 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 you proc you hit cyclone strike make sure you always keep your mystic allies going and always keep 10 use wave of the fist for the increased attack speed when you get on a mob and then serenity for the added defense this is the most chill build and make sure you guys use it while it lasts guys we only got like a month or so a month and a half left in season 26 so i'm going to be using this build to push all the rest of my paragon levels i'm trying to get to 2000 before the end of the season so let's see if we can do that all right let's look at all the gear you need for the build starting off guys we have the inna's complete set guys all six pieces we're going to get 10 mystic allies that deal all of our damage again guys this is a set build the six piece bonus gives you 10 mystic allies even though we have two now if as soon as we start hitting monsters we're going to get 10 and they're going to deal 3000 percent damage each that's 30,000 percent damage bonus which just makes this build absolutely insane next we got the crudest boots you really want to have these this you cannot do this build without it it gives you an additional mystic ally so you get two which makes you have 10 instead of five so use this it gives you maximum damage my damage on here is really low at 185 i would probably want this to be 190 or higher but 185 is not bad Onto the gloves, guys, is the frost burn. You want this for increased cold damage as well as crit damage on top of everything else. The rings and amulet that we're using, of course, is a really standard setup, which is the squirts necklace along with the focus and restraint. You use these to proc additional damage and additional uh, survivability with damage reduction from the squirts and the focus and restraint. And then for the other two pieces, the bracers and shoulders, we're going with the all dueled set for the reduced damage and then increased damage against elites, especially with the rift guardians and stuff this is one of the best rift guardian killer builds in the game the three gems that we're using guys are is bane of the powerful for the increased damage against elite packs and then damage reduction against them and forcer because this is a pet build so we get the increased damage for our pets which are mystic allies and then bane of the trap which is probably the best legendary gem in the game for crowd control and then reduce movement on our enemies Onto the cube, guys. We got an in engine in the weapon slot because we want our cooldowns always to be up. So that's why this is almost an elite pack build. You want to be dashing from elite pack to elite pack to keep engine always proc to get our, our cooldown on the rest of our abilities. We got binary and lesser gods, which combines with cyclone strike to uh, do increased damage. And then ring of royal grandeur because we are running the Ogdul set along with five pieces of the uh, Inna's mantra. And then down here at the abilities, guys, we got Wave of 100 Fists, which, which gives us increased attack speed and movement speed. Cyclone Strike, which is great. You use this to go around with Epiphany to teleport to your enemies and, and also proc our Bindings of the Lesser God, as well as our Focus and Restraint. Dash, so Dashing Strike, so that way we can dash from enemy to enemy. Serenity for more defense when you get up to those elite packs. And then Epiphany, which makes you get a lot of re uh, spirit regen and allows you to uh, teleport to enemies. And then, of course, Mystic Ally, which is the bread and butter of the build. Mystic Ally does all that additional damage. And we want Water Ally on this. So then that way, it used to be really bad, but the AI on these have been fixed up really, really good. So Water Ally just absolutely destroys everything. On to our passives, guys. We're doing Relentless Assault for 20 more damage against frozen or stun enemies which we have from our gems and our abilities uh seize the initiative which gives us increased damage and attack speed 
Speaking of Yatar, which gives us reduced cooldown, which is huge. We want to keep everything up at always. And then Guardian's Path, we are using a two-handed weapon, so we get spirit regeneration by 15%. Now, if you guys wanted, you guys could, you guys could use different um, skills for those. Instead of, instead of like Guardian's Path, you could use something like uh, Unity, or you could use. Um, near-death experience especially if you're a hardcore player anything like that would kind of be a good replacement but this feels really really good for me so those are the uh, passives that i have for the build for the follower guys that you want on your build is you want to have nemesis bracers in combination with flavor of time to have twice as long pile on effects and then make sure that they spawn enemy champions to get through those greater rifts even faster I'm using the gloves of worship so they last even longer so that way we can just blast through grs you want to be finishing anything under two minutes for just maximum speed farming uh you can swap these out though if you want don't want to use the gloves so that way you can use the orcs crown and just change up the bonuses here for the key drops in death's breast you want to have 25k main stat all these are dexterity based because i'm using the monk but i need to get them changed to intelligence but if you get 25k main stat on your follower you're going to get the maximum bonus from these abilities so instead of six percent you'd have ten percent cooldown and then damage increase would be um maximized as well i opted to use the follower you can't die if you guys want to use one that gives you access to all skills that's also really really good especially if you have 25k main stat she should never die but if you don't then go with temporal pulse uh harmony power shield and then fate slaps for the cheat death all right guys that's gonna do it for the best build in all of season 26 i know the season 27 ptr is out and some of the builds are looking absolutely insane and the inna's monk did get a nerf in that from 3000 uh percent damage increase to, to only 900 percent damage per mystic ally so if i was you i would be using this build for the rest of the season just power and blast through paragon levels as much as you can if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like and if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe guys i'm pumping out so many videos getting through season 26 for season 27 i'm super hyped and can't wait but thank you guys for watching and as always stay gaming and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace